England has a, the Prince of Wales. You have a fine son, John Canty. Fine new mouth to feed. What do you teach him if he lives? Soon you will be king. Someday, maybe, but not soon. John's come to hate the sound of Tom's voice. He says no one will give him arms if he talks like a gentleman. You know the Prince and I are twins. In age, if nothing else. Come along with me, and I will try to make amends. Let's change clothes. Come on. All right. You cannot go forth in mild tatters. What does it matter if I'm in rags or if I'm raped? I am still the Prince of Wales. Who are you? I'm John Canty, your loving father. And you are coming home with me. Up at last, then. Not still talking rubbish, I hope. How are you this morning, Tom? You were so dazed and ill last night. You had me worried. You did truly. Are you well now? I am not your Tom woman, but Edward, Prince of Wales. Now take me at once to the palace, and I give my word that I will try to. Hold your tongue. See? You're satisfied now? The meddlesome priest has made him mad. I knew how it would end. Don't touch her. One blow will cost you your head. I warn you. You warn me, do you, you little tyke? Well, I warn you to beg my pardon or I'll kick you to a pulp. Oh, say it, Tom. I beg you. But, woman, I am not Tom. Say it. I beg you. Humour him. I know him in this mood. He'll beat you to death. For my sake, please. For your sake, then. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Father. Father. Hmm. Your Royal Highness. What is it? Why, what it always is, sir. Orange, sugar, cinnamon and ginger. For breakfast? Your breakfast is laid in the presence chamber, Your Highness. Like always. Will you take the drink? Why, certainly. How long must I hold it? Indeed, sir, it is for me to hold it for you. What happens now? Go easy with him, John, please. He's not well. Try to understand. Enough of your book learning and your understanding. From now on, he begs or starves. Then I'll starve. You'll starve or eat or live or die as I shall order it. Today's the day you learn who's master here. Why, you, Your Highness. All of it? Are neither of you hungry, then? The Grace, the Lady Elizabeth, Lady Jane Grey, and Lady Milford. Hello. Brother, I hope you're in better health than yesterday. Indeed, my Lord Cousin, how are you? You do me too much honour, ladies. I am Tom Canty. Can you not see? You mistake me for Prince Edward. Come, sir. 
Don't you remember your sister? Of course I do. Her name is Nan, but she's not one wit like you. <laughs> My lord, don't laugh at England's ruin. But why talk of ruin? It's been a mistake, that's all. You take me for the prince, but I'm not he. Find him and all will be well. Well, where is he, pray? There's the difficulty. He dressed himself in my rags, walked out of the door, and that was the last I saw of him. I wonder if His Royal Highness is not tired. Perhaps we might leave him and return at a more convenient hour. Will you not eat before you go? They've laid for ten and number tie will touch it. Lady Milford is right. Perhaps when you have rested, things may be clearer. With your permission, my lord. Come later and you'll still only find poor Tom, while the prince is wandering lost somewhere. Shouldn't we put a search in hand to find him? seek crowds for begging, cutting purses alike. Why do you load me with your foul philosophies? I tell you, I will neither beg nor steal. Hey, look there. The dandy with the scarlet hose. See how his purse trails a temptation. Watch this. How are you? I hope your father was not too severe. Do I know you? Tom, if your lessons are over for a while, so be it, but I'm still your friend. Oh, no. Is what true? Is my nephew mad? Not mad, my lord, but... But not sane, either? It is a fit, my lord. A passing fancy, a humour of the brain. All will be well. All must be well. It must! Whose future troubles you most, my lord? The prince's? Or your own? What does she say? The rumour's true. The prince has lost his reason. How bad is he? I tell you this, mad or not, he'll swear me in as regent the moment life has left the old king's carcass. That done, no one can touch us. Don't deceive yourself. The people fear a child king. Even a sane one. Suppose Parliament will not crown a lunatic. They'll crown him if I have to knock him out and rope him to the throne. What of Norfolk? For the young king mad. If he should try to challenge us from the tower. Don't look so pale, Thomas. The Duke of Norfolk is as good as dead. Thank you, Bagot. I am always glad of a visitor. Will you not sit, whoever you are? Niece, what are you doing here? How did you gain entry? Lady Milford is outside. We bribed the guards. Then Lady Milford is more foolish than I thought her. What would the king say if he knew you were here? He would be angry with me. Exactly. Why have you come? I wanted to see you. <laughs> to say goodbye. Come, niece. What need have we of anything so paltry as goodbyes? Oh. Now, now, don't cry. I served the king as well as I knew how. Let that be our consolation. Hmm? The seamers have brought you to this. It is their doing. One day I will have revenge, I promise you. No. The seamers are dangerous enemies. I am the proof of that. If you really love me, you'll let your brother protect you. If he can. He is stricken with some kind of malady. Not of the body, but of the mind. They say, if he is mad, he cannot reign. Then chaos will come again. 
For England's sake, I pray for his recovery. It is much more important than my own. They tell me you are mad. Is it true? Have you run mad since yesterday? <laughs> or is it just a clumsy jest to tease your father? Hmm? <laughs> you are the king, truly, King Henry of England. Well, who do you think I am? King of the fairies? <laughs> Yes, I am the king, your father, as you well know. Forgive me, sire. I mean no harm. Send for the prince, I beg you. Let me go home. Bring the boy here. Uh, Edward, my son. You were troubled yesterday with visions of the future. And this is the result. It's my fault. I gave you the great seal to study, and your brain has burst. You must forget these cares. Rest. Be easy. And soon you will be well again. Your Majesty, I am not ill. If the Prince would only give me back my rags, all would be as it was. Where is the great seal now, boy? Do you remember? How could I? What is the great seal? Have you forgotten everything? Your French? Est-ce que tu peux souvenir à parler en français? Nay, sire, I have no French. The good father knew none and so could not teach it. And Latin? Vis ne mi respondere latine? Oh, that I can answer. Decolius respondere tam nobilite quirenti. There now, the prince retains some learning. <laughs> Indeed, his Latin is better than before. I see how it is. The boy is only mad in parts. Too much confinement has done this away with his books and his teachers too. Take him to the Lady Elizabeth. She loves him well and has as quick a wit as her mother. <laughs> Well, Alfred, still here? You may retire. There is one small matter, sire. Uh, the Duke of Norfolk. Oh, small. Small to you, perhaps, but not, I think, to the Duke. <laughs> Take care, Alfred. You are too eager. Eager to see a traitor die, I do confess it. Uh, what is it, boy? If I might speak for the prince you think I am. Uh, yes. Edward, speak for yourself if you wish. It's just... It troubles me to think that the Duke will die. Might I be allowed to plead for him? You've grown a kind heart in your illness, Edward. But believe me, the Duke of Norfolk is a traitor. <laughs> Your uncles have proven that he is too powerful to be trusted and would not serve you faithfully as king. Believe me, he must die. Only then can you be safe. But truly, if so... Enough! Norfolk dies! Oh. Mad he may be, but Tom will not steal nor even beg. I know him. And this time your father means to have his way. Shh, mother. Father's temper will pass. Thomas to stick his hand out for a penny, it won't kill him. What's happened? He failed to rob a man and may have murdered him. Such was my first lesson in crime. Hold you! What are you doing here? Haven't I banned you from this house? I saw what happened. I thought perhaps I could help. How, priest? Can you raise men from the dead? What's the matter with you? Come, Tom. That is no way to thank your tutor. The boy's right for once. Go and take your prayers with you. I'll go and pray for that poor man. And for us, Father. True then, John. Have we not troubles enough that you must make them more? The king would guard the prince from books until he is himself again. He prays you will keep him company. Indeed we will, gladly. Come, brother, give me your hand and sit by me. No, my lady, no! The daughter of a king must not kiss Tom Canty. It isn't right! If it please you, sir. 
For the nation's good and your own health, we will hear no more of this Tom Canty. Thank you, Lord Harford. You may leave us now. Your nephew is safe in our charge. My lady. Don't worry. That poor man has no worse trouble than a torn purse and a sore head. I'm sure of it. Are you? I'm not. Oh, how have I come so low? My poor Tom. Is this my fault? Have I made you mad with my ambitions? So your mother craves your pardon. I am not mad, but even so, I'm sure you need no pardon. You know I have no mother. I know the prince's mother. Our Queen Jane died at his birth. But what is the death of that good lady to you? I have never known a mother's kiss. Only the careless touch of stepmothers on their way to the oratory or the block. But if I had been granted a living mother, I tell you this. I would have had her just such a one as you. Oh, Tom. Your words are reasonless. But still they comfort me. They tell me that love is stronger than madness. And so good will prevail. Mary, I bid your grace welcome. How does the king, my father? He lives. And the prince, my brother? So rumor has not lied. Fetch the boy. He's worn out, John. Wake him, now. Nan, put some food into a bundle at once, girl. What's going on? None of your business. Do as I tell you, no need to know. But it is our business. And knowing can't be worse than doubt. What's happened? I have it your own way. It's simply told. The man I struck today is dead. Oh. The constable's men are out to get me, and if they do, I'll swing for it. Now fetch the boy and the food and quick about it. Well, what ails your woman? Move! But must you take, Tom? He'll slow you up for sure. Better to run alone and we can follow. And what if dear Tom forgot to follow? Did you take me for a fool? The boy is fair. He can beg my food the length of England. Now fetch him! I'd better wake him, or father will. I'll do it. Nan? You have lost your trick of shielding your face, Tom. I thought it was your way when you were startled. It may be Tom's way. It is not mine. Why have you woken me? And you say the prince spoke up for Norfolk? Piece of schoolboy sentiment. Edward will do as he's told. Mad or not, he can be frightened. So can I, mother. So can I. What if Parliament should set aside our crazy nephew and plant the crown on Mary's head? What happens to us then? Calm yourself. Remember, if Edward is passed over, then Mary can be too. She's a Catholic, and the people do not like her. Who do they like? Not you nor I, that's clear. They like Elizabeth. And? And you must look to your wardrobe, if you would a wooing go. When will the Lord Mayor arrive, and who is to receive him? The Prince, of course. With us. Everything is to be as it was planned. Is that wise? It would be less wise to cancel now. But can he be trusted to hear a loyal address? What if he prays the mayor to drink the health of Tom Canty? Oh, 
begs the servants to sit and sup with us. Cousin, all will be well. In his confusion, he is kinder than before. He will do nothing to upset us. And if he does not recover, if he's declared unfit to reign, what then? Mary is next in line. But Mary's in the pay of Spain. Silence! And do not be so quick to cast away my brother. Yesterday he was the hope of England. Maybe it is God's way. My lady sister, you are welcome here. Cousin Mary. So the reports are true. The prince is mad. Why did no one send to tell me? Must I always learn my father's business from outriders and chambermaids? It's scarcely a day since we knew ourselves. Had you been here and I away, you would not have wished to trouble me. The case is different, lady. You are not heiress to the throne. I am. Tell me, sister, do you see God's wishes in this matter? Madam, I have no wit to interpret God's ways. I leave that to the king's good majesty. Spoken glibly, as befits the daughter of her. <laughs> you, are you a boatman? I would cross the river. We're not trying to sit a toast, Fred. I've no time for that. Are you free or not? Hold on. There's no rush so great, but you have time to drink the prince's health. The prince? What prince? What prince? <laughs> what prince do you think? The prince of Wales. He who will dine in yonder building this very night. God bless him! Hey! Will you not bless him too, sir? I bless no prince nor no king neither. Now get out of my way. I have business of my own. Hey, sir, you shall not pass whatever your business till you have drunk the prince's elf and drunk it deep. Give him the cup and make the sour knave drink or we will feed him to the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Snow life is such a master. Now, you'll drink to the Prince of Wales, I'm sure. The Prince of Wales, indeed. Don't tell me you won't wish off to the Prince either. The Prince? Do you not see that I am the Prince of Wales? Hey. Hey. You cheer and toast some crazy booby. By all that's holy, to the river with him. Hey. Put me down, you You are mannerly curs. Does it take a pack of you to punish one poor boy? They insulted the prince, and he shall smart for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, scum, put me down! The smart will be all yours, I think, if you take one more step. Lads. Just a bit of fun. Come on. Thank you, sir. Truly. You came when I had need of you. Then I am honoured. Miles Hendon, at your service. Just returned from fighting in the Netherlands and glad to have been of help. I did not speak ill of the Prince. Well, of course not. Why should I? I am the Prince. Ah. Uh, is he here? Your Majesty? Harford? Is he here? Sire? Uh, Away! Get back! All of you! Has the ruling for Norfolk's death come from Parliament? Not yet, Your Majesty, but it must be here soon. I have sent again for it. It cannot be long now. The minute it comes, the second, take it yourself to the tower. Do you understand me? I do. Just see him dead, and I will do nothing to curb your powers. Only protect my son. And kill the Duke. I will, Your Majesty. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Would your majesty care to see a priest? Maybe later. First, I think I will take a little sleep. Most royal of princes, son of the high esteemed and puissant King Henry, I salute you and bring you greetings from the citizens of London. Let us proceed in state down to the barges which await their precious cargo, happy in the knowledge that the river itself is honoured with its burden. You, sir, can you find out the reason for this rude interference? What is this noise, my lord? The procession attends us, and we would not keep his worship waiting. There will be no procession tonight. Nor Guildhall dinner, neither. No dinner, sir? With a hundred of the city's finest waiting in attendance? What is your meaning, Lord Harford? His Majesty, King Henry VIII, is dead. What? It's true. The king is dead. Then long live His Majesty King Edward VI. God save the God King! God save the King! Well, sir, you have defended the person of Edward, Prince of Wales, and he is grateful. Then I am doubly honoured. But it seems to me that whatever our station, we are both in need of food and a bed for the night. You are right, Miles Hendon. And if you will escort me to my father's palace, I will see that you are treated well. Uh, might it not be better first to take a little rest? There is an inn just here that I know well. Tomorrow we can discuss our journey to the um, palace. I am tired, it's true. But I have no money. Then allow me the privilege of sharing the little that I have. You would not mind? You shall have it back a thousandfold. I don't want it back at all. You know, my Sendon, since I left the palace, I've learned many things. Some men are much worse than I expected. But there is more kindness than I looked for in my royal life. The prince has no need of kindness. He may have his way without it. Not always. It's the boatman. Come, friend. Not still spoiling for a fight, surely? No, indeed. What then? What is amiss? The king is dead. What? Henry VIII is dead. Dead? My father dead. Then I am king of... 